with Ghosts being a whole new game, a whole new world, a whole new story, we wanted the world to be a character, in a sense. We wanted to be able to show a lot of what we're going to do with this new world via tech, because that really helped us drive that impact of what that new world is going to be. Uh, but the two sort of features that we focused in on uh, were um, displacement mapping and sub D. So those were really sort of the two sort of primary things that we wanted to show off. But for our storytellers and for our artists, environment artists specifically, it was all about environment. They wanted an environment that you felt more immersed in than you've ever felt before. It needed to be something that you, as you're playing, you're just sort of jaw dropped. You're, 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 you're um, seeing things that you've never seen before. But I think at the same time, you look at, uh, you look at the level we, the gameplay that we did show, and we're showing, you know, a, a vast environment, this, this, this underwater world that you just feel like you've never seen before. A lot, all of that came from the tech, and it was driven by artists basically going. Okay, we, what's our goal? Our goal is to make the most immersive looking game we can. That being said, the new engine actually also applies to current gen. We didn't mention that, but I, I do want to say that the new engine it does affect current gen. We, get a, uh, we do get a, uh, a lot of benefit from this new engine on current gen. Lots of uh, improvements to visual fidelity, etc. Uh, but on next gen, um, uh, we got to bring in some of this new tech. A lot of it geared towards stuff that we've been seeing already in uh, pre-rendered CG. You have single player, which is really storytelling. That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to be storytellers. We're trying to put the player in an immersive cinematic moment where they feel they're in this moment and they care about the moments and they care about the characters and the people that they're interacting with. We've added some, th some new gameplay that allows you to sort of um, customize the level as it goes and it's hard to explain but it's basically around sort of um, doing sort of hidden things that create submissions or create extra a different sort of different twist on the story as you go through the level and for everything we're doing that's what this tech is geared towards storytelling and that immersion into that cinematic story is absolutely paramount i'm a hardcore multiplayer guy i love the multiplayer experience there's nothing quite like it there's something that's just viscerally different about Call of Duty from every other game, uh, particularly the ones that are trying to copy us. I've always said, you know, one of the big differences between Call of Duty and every other game is 60 frames a second. But what I mean is 60 frames a second, I mean the, the latency on the controls, the feeling of the controls. So we spent enormous amounts of time on the acceleration of the thumbsticks. So when you move the thumbstick, your view accelerates uh, right and left faster than it does up and down and it actually changes also in the diagonals. We spent a lot of time with that. I say this a couple times but it sounds kind of silly maybe but the planets honestly feel like they kind of aligned on this one because we were the studio that did that, that created Call of Duty. We were the studio that brought it to console and made it this huge monstrous success. We had this opportunity to launch another console create a brand new sub-franchise under Call of Duty, a whole new story, a whole new world, all new characters, a new engine. Um, and uh, I, I just think with us being that studio that gets to do it, it just seems like perfectly aligned.